So as it stands, I do not think the bottom is in. Bitcoin looks weak. However, we could still push a little bit higher to some resistance levels, okay? But for me, right now, altcoins are looking much stronger as it stands. So let's have a little look at some price action. Hello, welcome, hope you're good. So if you're new around here, market monster, we're gonna talk about the BTC world today. And we're gonna look at the obvious of what's been happening. Let's be fair here, we need to be very, very clear. We're in a downtrend, the bottom hasn't been tested yet. There's a high chance we could go lower. And I feel, as you know by this thumbnail, we're still in a bear market rally and that could lead to a potential crash. Not so much a big massive death and doom day, but a drop down to those levels again. It's too early, far too early, and we're gonna talk about it. So overall in the market, we've had a little bit of an impulse on the altcoins overall. If you're looking at the last seven days, if I just go to plus, obviously ignore that. Um, for obvious reasons, a lot of altcoins have been doing a little bit of a run. BTC dominance is down, the USD dominance is going to a certain point as well, lower at the moment, at the moment. It feels like people are buying the dip, but I feel there's a little bit of a trap set in here, which we do need to talk about in terms of a bullish scenario and a bearish scenario as well. Which brings me on to the chart, right? First things first, let's look at the BTC monthly. We're closing very, very soon. We've got three days, 12 hours. <laughs> right, cool, awful. It looks awful, right? I do not see where people are bullish right now, as in, the macro environment, which if you know me, I cover that quite a lot on Learning Crypto, but realistically, it's looking pretty dire. But not just that, not just this, the candles, the sentiment, a lot of people have vanished. And yeah, if you're new to this space, or if you've been here for six, seven months, whatever, and all you've seen is red, sorry, but there's a high chance we're probably gonna get more of that as well. So we've gotta be somewhat careful what's happening. But let's look at a few things first. Let's go down to the three, three day time frame just to give you an idea. I just wanna show you this because of the trend. This is a really nice looking downtrend. Sorry, it is. And this is where the, the, the question is, how low will we go and how long will this little rally that we've got kind of last? I personally believe if you're looking at this, it's weak, very, very weak. Let's put moving average on. Moving average eight, relatively strong downtrend from essentially from April all the way down, hugging the line. And often what does happen when you go far away from the EMAs, they tend to snap back up and retest them. The bullish scenario for me will be going up towards that EMA eight, around 23K, right? I am not thinking anything further than that until that barrier of entry has been passed. But even when we look at the daily time frame right now, we are literally just hugging it. We're literally just hugging it. And it's not great. It's not looking good. If we're going to put an EMA 21 on it, guess what? That 23 level looks pretty much ominous again. Hello. So the EMA 21 on the daily and the EMA 8 on the three day. Mm, okay. A little bit of maths for you. Anyways, that's the obvious, right? That's the obvious. If we're going to go back a step just to show you what is happening on other time frames, for obvious reasons, the weekly. We've had a lot of bad weeks, let's be fair here. We had a little bit of a stop the rot, reversal signal, no, boom, right the way back down. This is not enough for a bounce to make me excited. But as I say, right, remember the 23,000 level that I was talking about? Keep an eye on it. Why? Because we've got a situation where for some reason, people tend to think we're going to do a massive correction right the way back up. We're going to go back up to like $40,000, maybe up to $30,000. I think that as a stretch is a bit too far if we're gonna do that as analysis, right? What I would be looking at is something a little bit more closer to home. If we're gonna look on the daily time frame, I would probably look at where this drop off happened in terms of the start of this move. And again, as I say, remember the 23,000 level, I think that is probably the most bullish I will feel at the time of recording until something happens. If we flip above that, obviously you're gonna look at 26K, right? You gotta walk, roll, crawl, whatever, before you can kind of run essentially, right? So just be careful. So for me, I would wait for that. But when we zoom in on these candles and just look at them at what they are actually giving us, it just looks weak. There's a lot of top wicks which would indicate a little bit of exhaustion. It may, basically means that there's an area up here where we're getting sold. It's People are selling. Now, whether people have bought this dip from these lows here, and aiming to kind of distribute their wealth a bit higher, fair enough, but we've got to look at that as a situation. But right now, Bitcoin is weak. Cool. 
downside movements by the way that level obvious anyways let's talk about a few things altcoins quickly 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 it looks a mess i know but this is kind of what i've got on my chart i've had this on for a while buying zone for me is around here not so much me buying buying but i would say a lot of people will be buying there there's a big massive factor of that level if i zoom out you'll notice it ready for it ready for it boom this is a huge level for me this is an obvious level, but this is a bigger level in my opinion. This is an overall trend metric and a Fibonacci level, which is pretty strong and it could get some utilization. So let's see if we go down there. Now, as I say, bit of a minging downtrend. And again, you can see not much of a bounce, not much of a bounce, let's be fair. I would expect $1 trillion to potentially come into range at some point very, very soon, providing we get there that could be a huge psychological level. So just be mindful of that. Now, that is the overall market right now, right? That's kind of where we are. But one of the main things that we do need to talk about is the fact that the BTC dominance has done this. We're in a big uptrend here. This is a nice uptrend, right? We're, we're, we're forming a beautiful uptrend. If we are gonna turn around and go higher and go towards 50%, 52%, 53% here, that's going to be awful for your altcoin. So just keep that in the back of your mind. If that turns and we start going up, BTC may be bullish. BTC may be very bearish and altcoins may be more bearish than BTC. So if altcoins are sold off, there's a situation where, yes, it will out, outpace BTC and losses equals that goes up. But also there may be a bit of FOMO into BTC. If Bitcoin gets a little bit of a run, even though I'm saying that we may struggle to get over certain levels, but if it gets to a certain point, People may bail out of altcoins and go into Bitcoin and get the FOMO, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, and then they'll just drop it. Ooh, that could be awful. But I think it's more the lines of people getting panicky about what's happening with the liquidity, with insolvent companies. You know, the yield platform is going to shit. That's kind of where I'm thinking. So I think that's a, a, a possibility as it stands right now. It's looking relatively good for an uptrend to carry on going. So we'll see if it does correct higher could well if it goes below 41 45 it's an invalidation obviously but we'll look at that anyways last thing the last thing i really want to talk about before i talk about the bear market rally bit is we have to talk about the dominance of usd this is on an absolute massive projectory moonbeam run like literally it's mooning it's going mental right now the big problem with this is it's still in an uptrend it's had a massive exhaustion this means, you know, if it's going down, it means money's going into the altcoins. If it's going up, it means money's going into stable coins, right? Very, very simple. The dominance is getting much higher. I think this is going to go way higher as well. I think it's going to go 20 plus percent easily at some point in the future. So we've got to be somewhat mindful of that. This market will not just turn around overnight. It will take time. This is the biggest factor we've got to look at, right? So when we talk about bear market rallies and looking at all these kind of situations, let's look at Polkadot, for example, right? You know, everyone's going, oh, look, everything's going up. It's great. It's amazing. The problem you've got is with these little market rallies and these little bear market rallies, right? And we're talking about the obvious here is the percentage numbers. The percentage numbers are really, really contradictory, right? Because the lower you go, the more the percentage you're going to get. But realistically, when you look at the time frame, nothing's really moved. You've not missed out on anything, realistically. You've got to be calm, you've got to be careful, you've got to be measured. And this can easily drop, easily just go bang, drop, you know. We're not even above the EMA 8 yet on the three day time frame on a lot of old coins. Even on the daily time frame, we're just above it, just above it right now. But it's not looking very strong. So we've got to look at that. But as I say, these percentage numbers from these lows to these like ties, yeah, they're quite aggressive. They're quite big. This is why you've got to be careful. This is why low leverage is really key when the prices go low. If you're on high leverage and you're just looking at the, the dollar value, you're going to get slaughtered. So you've got to be somewhat careful of that. Anyways. I don't think the bottom's in. I feel this is a mini bear market rally. And in terms of going through the past here, just before we end, you know, when we're looking at the likes of BTC, for example, here, let's just go to the weekly time frame and show you the past, right? And when we're looking at all this kind of situation here, where we've had little runs up, we've had little runs up, yeah, they're, they're pretty aggressive. If we're looking at data here, from the low to the high, bear market rally of BTC, 53%. Oh, the bottom's in right oh we made a new bottom oh the bottom's in 47 percent. you get the picture right so do not let the percentage levels trick you look at the overall trend and right now when you are looking at this weekly time frame that is what it looks like 
There's a massive gap where we can go into here. And yes, we are weak right now, but it's a definite possibility that we could go there at some point, at some point in the future. Whether that happens before a drop or after a drop, we don't know. So just be absolutely mindful of that. Anyways, hope you enjoy. If you like my stuff, give it a like and a follow. I am going live after this video is out. Check out my Patreon. You'll see me then. Yeah.